Rafikis, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been keeping well. So I'm starting this vlog at a very random time. It's 4 a.m. I've just gotten back home. It's been a crazy day, so I thought I'd check in. <laughs> First of all, I took a boda boda from Karen to like Kianda school site. Like who does that? It was hella expensive, hella crazy. I don't know why I did it, but anyway, I survived. <laughs> and then I went for a bridal shower, that was really nice. Then I ended up going out. <laughs> Hen party and it was just amazing. And so I'm back home now and I'm going to bed. I'm whispering because it's 4 a.m. Look at this animal in its natural habitat, waiting to be fed. Is it breathing? Is it breathing in the <laughs> Guys, zucchini chips homemade at the best. Oh my goodness. Trust me, thank me later. If you're someone who loves Waru, like I believe in my next life or in my previous life, I'm I'm people you because the love I have for Waru is just like it's intense. It's intense. But yeah, they're really good. They're ready, so I'm just gonna take them out. Then I have it with some chicken. Some chicken, that's if my brother uh, electricity has gone. That's it, my, my brother, you see the animal I just showed, has not eaten it all. I'm just for a leather lookbook. If you're wondering why I'm looking a bit like much, that's why. Definitely enjoy shooting lookbooks. Expect to see many more of those on my channel. I really enjoy shooting them, guys. Trust me. So with regards to why I changed my name from Unmasking a Ching to Kylie a Ching is because I reserved the name Unmasking a Ching for my charity. If you've been following me for a while now, you know that I started a foundation in my rural village where I provide support and sanitary towels to the young girls and I just aim to empower them. Basically, I want to put an end to period poverty in the village. Sorry, there's a child crying. The siblings are so mean. Like these kids are playing and then they've locked the baby inside. So the kid is crying. Anyway, I digress. But basically, I started a go get fund me just because go fund me doesn't work in Kenya. I don't know why. Oh my goodness, the child is crying again. Okay, I think he stopped. Yeah, basically, I started a go go, a go get fund me. Ooh, a go get. Oh my goodness. My link in my bio, you can donate something small. So for 500 shillings, you can provide four reusable, four reusable pads to these girls. Like guys, let's come together and end. Oh, this kid is a genius. They figured out to open the door. Uh, yeah, let's come together and end period poverty because it's like a really, really big problem. Um, many of these girls um, are exploited by men, especially Boda Boda men for sex in return just so that they can afford to buy periods at a period they can afford to buy pads hi guys um so it's friday i've picked up the camera again um i can't remember the last time i vlogged it's just because i haven't been doing anything interesting but then today i'm going for an interview so i thought it would be nice for me to come and have a chat with you um as i get ready we thank the Lord and also talk to you about something that affects so many youth. My brothers, my sister, like they all have encouraged me to talk about um, this. So I'm going to talk about it. Plus I also just haven't done like a get ready with me video um, in a while. So I thought this would be the right time to talk about this. I know they say women can multitask, but... We'll find out today if I really can because I really cannot be late to this interview. Um, 
Yeah, I really can't be late to this interview. So let's do this real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. As in, end of all days, today my eyebrows are refusing to cooperate. I don't know why I decided to do my makeup with my wig on because it's just getting in the way and I'm getting anxious and irritated, but it's okay, we can do this. Anyway, I'm just going for a simple look. So I've put on my foundation and now I'm just dumping it in. So what I wanted to talk to you today is about looking for jobs in this Nairobi. Why is it so damn difficult to find a job in Nairobi? I'm gonna just set it with the MAC powder. Uh, I'll just I'll put everything I've used in the description box instead of like instead of like yeah doing a proper tutorial. Yeah, so my brother was telling me, my sister, my friends, and even like I asked you guys on Instagram what your experience has been like trying to get a job like post graduation or even just you know in general. And it's so difficult in this Nairobi to get a job. Like, you know, you can think that qualifications like warrant you a job, but it's not that simple. Like, compared to like our parents' days, like for them it was so much easier. I think, like, as long as you had a degree, you knew you had a job. But for us, it's like, why do I keep saying it's like it's like for us it's different. It's difficult. Like it's not guaranteed that after graduation after doing your law degree you're gonna get a job so maybe i'll just talk about my experience really really quickly i yeah if you haven't watched my london vlog go and check it out basically something happened yada 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 ended up defying my masters and so i opted to come back to nairobi i had a job before i left but it wasn't in the field of what i wanted to do so I was not going back there basically it was a good place but i i wanted something different for myself so i started applying for jobs guys tell me why i've applied for like 30 jobs and i've only had back from like two people it's actually mad it's madness and even with the previous job where i was they were only paying me ten thousand shillings guys let's just be honest in this nairobi what can 10k actually do for you like nothing nothing and i've hesitated shooting this video just because um i know i'm speaking from a place of privilege and you know even for me even if like someone was to offer me 10k like i'd probably take it maybe not but i'd take it the reason i can take it so easily is because i live with my parents they probably still give me pocket money they'll give me fare like food i'll be fine but what about like just the random one inchi who actually say for instance you know you've come to nairobi for uni and then why am i so nervous i don't know i don't actually know but i'm really nervous guys i think it's because i don't i don't have that much time but i'll try and make this as brief as i can yeah i was saying sorry guys i'm all over the place i'm really all over the place breathe I have to remind myself to breathe sometimes yeah i was saying someone maybe came to nairobi and left like their family in like a different town to for uni and then they get an internship of course they're going to take it because we're meant to be so grateful when we get internships because they're so hard to find that you you're not even supposed to question whether you're being paid how much you're being paid like you're just meant to take it and run with it over me i even thought first of all internships were done whilst you're in school like after you graduate you're no longer looking for an internship you should be looking for a job but somehow the system doesn't work like that it seems like to get into the workplace you have to do internships which is okay but i'm like what was the point of me doing those eight internships while i was in school you know every holiday i do an internship thinking that as soon as i graduate it's gonna be simple and then to complicate things I took myself and decided to do law and I just didn't do law in Kenya I went the extra mile and did law in a different jurisdiction England yes same Commonwealth but the process is made so difficult like it's such a hectic process first of all 
I feel like there's some discrimination. I'm not going to say too much because <laughs> my application to like Kenya School of Law is still ongoing and I don't want to jeopardize that. But we're discriminated against. It's like, okay, so so many people like I'll call my youth summer. Anyway, guys, I'm really, really ranting. But the point of this video is it should not be this difficult to get an internship. If you're still searching for a job or an internship, just take heart, have hope, it will come. I believe everything in this life that's meant for you will come. This is my final look. I'm sorry, I was just too... My body was all over the place and I just, I couldn't continue to record as I was doing my makeup because, yeah, I panic, I panic a lot, especially in situations like this. I have to know, I know when, like, and I don't, I don't need to come on camera and be a mess. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna paint my nails now and yeah, just if you have any interview tips, if you know of any like job opportunities, or if you're looking for a job to apply, like if you'd want for me to share like job openings or let me know. Um, like I'm in a few groups where that happens. And I know you may wonder, like, then why didn't you just apply for the thing is, um, I don't believe in just applying for a job for just the sake of doing a job. Like, I want to actually do something that grows me. So I'm back home. My interview, let's not talk about it. Pretty much I have taken an unconventional route, opting to do my master's before doing Kenya School of Law and that just kind of throws me off balance when I'm dealing with potential employers but it's fine God will make a way um, door will open if it's my door it will open if it's not my door will open thanks for all the support after that I went to Intercontinental for a screening a documentary called Bula Karatasi which I think every young Kenyan should watch. Basically it talks about the massacre that happened in Garissa and just how the government treats Kenyan Somalis so badly and we choose to turn our blind it's part of like following you know the handshake, national dialogue and cohesion. The government is trying to bridge the gap between marginalized communities in Kenya. On that night which is the deal with Buna Karatasi or the day also deal with current violations. But what I found is that because I think it's really really important the story worth sharing and I think I'll be taking you along for all of them. But yeah pretty much that's my day I'm knackered. I can't wait to take off my wig. First of all guys what's the order? What do you take off first? Shoes, wig or bra? For me, it's okay shoes because my mom would let me walk around her home in my shoes and then my wig and then my bra. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I think I'm going to end this vlog.